Okay guys, so it's time for the April Room Tour 2017. Let's get straight into it. watch this channel for any length of time will know that as well as reptiles I also keep fish and what you're looking at right now is the Fluval Roman anti tropical fish tank and if you remember it from last time because I've not shown it in a while it is vastly different all the plants have changed I've got far fewer in there and they're all different types um, I've also got rid of the lemon tetras because they didn't colour up. I actually made a series on them colouring up and I just sort of stopped doing it because they weren't colouring up at all. So I got rid of those. They were also bullying the other fish and I've re-aquascaped it. And I only done that like two or three days ago now. So it's still in its infancy. Now the fish, I have four Corydoras Aeneas, bronze Corys, the, these little fellows at the front got five neon tetras and bristle nose catfish so I am going to get some more fish for this tank and I'll go on about it a bit more in depth what I've done come next week and I'll also show you the growth of the plants come next week see if any of them have grown so yeah that's it for now, now. in this enclosure we have the first reptile I'm going to talk about this is a new setup well it's actually an old setup redone but it's for my leopard gecko male. I've still not got an exact name for him yet, so if you have any more names, I know you've given me some, but if you've got any different ones that I could choose from, please leave them in the comments because I am kind of struggling. But I've got a UVB light on this, 7% uh, Arcadia bulb, and behind that, you can just see it, I have the 100 watt ceramic heating it on a pulse proportional thermostat. And I've got three coconut hides, one, two, three, a moist hide that he's in right now, a cool end hide, a piece of wood to climb on, and I've also got a water dish and calcium dish. Now if anybody knows me, they know that I hate sterile setups, and so yes, I do absolutely hate this setup right now, but I'm waiting for Arcadia Reptile, this product company that I think is really good for reptile stuff to release the bioactive substrate for arid conditions and when that's released I'm gonna live plant this I'm gonna get that substrate and I'm gonna go for all natural decor so all these resin hides will be going but yeah he's doing absolutely great he's hidden away at the minute and he's only been in there a few days so I'm not gonna take him out to stress him but yeah he's doing really well so let's move on to the next the animal. third animal in today's video it's going to be Spot the Crested Gecko. Now, I'm going to move around from this setting because you can't really see him and I know where he is and you can actually see him for once in a so pet room here he is. He is a Harlequin Morph and as a quick update on him, he's not really being eaten CGD, Crested Gecko diet powders, at all recently. He just s slowly started refusing them and now he won't eat them at all in fact the other day he had like one lick from his bowl and that's the most he's eaten of that in a long time but he has been going absolutely wild for insects so i know this is going to be a bit controversial but that's all i've been feeding him crickets locusts and mealworms it's generally re recommended with crested geckos to sort of be cruel to be kind with them like force them to eat in CGD and not give in to what they want but he is growing I weighed him the other day and he was like five to six grams and when you're growing that fast like when I weighed him at Christmas when I got him he was sort of one gram so he's gained nearly four or five grams under my care and if you're growing that fast there's you're gonna if I didn't feed him he would become stunted pretty quickly so I'm just feeding him insects 
and then later on in his life when he's older I'm pretty sure he'll move on to fruit because that is what seems to be commonplace with keepers of crested geckos actually kind of like bearded dragons they go from insects to fruit and veg but either way he is doing well he's getting tamer not eating his CGD but I'm not too worried so yeah let's move on to the fourth animal. okay so number four is red the corn snake he's a hypermelanistic male I think judging by the length of his tail and he's doing okay he's doing good because he still eats but he is getting a bit cramped in this enclosure it's three foot long by sort of one foot three inches deep and um, 90 by 37.5 centimeters if anybody uses centimeters like me but um he's sort of not getting enough exercise in this i'm handling him as often as i can but he is sort of getting a bit podgy he's weighing 517 grams now that was from weighing him yesterday but i'm trying to take him out as much as i can and give him as much exercise but this cage is not gonna do it for him much longer so in a couple of months i'm gonna get him a four foot long enclosure but for now i'm just gonna be holding him and laying off on the food he's currently eating a jumbo mouse every fortnight although i might even reduce that to a large mouse every fortnight or something but apart from that he's doing well he's eating every time he's stopped striking for some reason i don't know why but he's dropped feeding fine and so yeah. i hope that you did enjoy this jtb reptiles video i'm trying to keep these short because i have a tendency to just talk and talk on these but yeah i hope that you did enjoy it if you want to see a video of the fish tank of me talking more in depth about it by not the sunday when i usually upload if you want to see it early like on friday or something post a comment saying we want fish and if i can get five comments saying that before thursday i'll make the video on the fish tank for friday so yeah i do hope that you've enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next one bye guys